deal. Tommy Gilmore, one, one man who certainly doesn't agree with Dylan White, and uh, we know you've got a history of, of bringing fighters on and a massive opportunity for Gary Cornish. Thrown in the deep end, but I know he's had a great camp and you're very confident that he can have big success in this fight. The O2 is very lucky for me because the last time I brought a Gary here, we won the, the Premier League at the Dart, so I'm quite sure that we'll do the same again on Saturday night. But I think it's, I'm, I'm sitting back here and I'm listening, I'm saying, why is Gary Cornish here? Why have we taken the trouble to come? Because I'm sitting listening to Eddie and I'm listening to, to Adam Smith about programmes to do with Anthony Joshua. They, they've, they've just totally written them off. We have had no contact at all with Sky. And I think when I look at it, it's been totally disrespectful all the way along to say that Gary Cornish has had no chance. For somebody who has never lost as an amateur or as a professional to be totally dismissed in the way that it has been, I think it's something that's brought shame in the promotion. Okay, thank you. And um... <laughs> I certainly haven't dismissed yeah. this guy. He's an unbeaten fighter, as I said, 21-0. He's, he's not lost as an amateur or pro. He's a heavyweight. He's come <laughs> to win this Commonwealth title. There's no disrespect from our side at all. Well, it's the first time that I've been involved in a, a top of the bill fight with Sky where they've had no contact for people to come and film the boy in, in training and to interview him. And that's where I, I kind of take umbrage at this. You know, I'm glad that he's been given the opportunity because it's a massive, it's a massive step up in class. It's to to claim, uh, as we hope we will do on Saturday night, to claim a scalp like Anthony Joshua. I think it's, you know, and let Gary, Gary move on. But I think that if it's such a mismatch, why are we putting it on? Listen, he's going to get knocked out either way. If you beat Anthony, I'm going to knock him out in December. So either way, he's going to get knocked out anyway. So, <laughs> Talking about the fight, Tommy, obviously. Talking, talking, about, talking about the fight, I think, it, I think it is a great opportunity for the, for the two of them, for Anthony and from, from Gary. I mean, Anthony, as I said at the previous press conference, Anthony has done marvellously well and we've been so proud of him as a Brit to have went on and won the the Olympic gold medal. You know, he's come along and he's been brought along in a similar fashion to the way that we have brought Gary along. And I think that the time that comes times, and I think it's important for boxing in general, that two good prospects should come together. And I think that the fighters will show on Saturday night, the two of them look in excellent condition today. The, the both of them are speaking, uh, you know, in a positive fashion. And I'm quite, I'm quite happy with the way Gary's went. I think his two trainers, Paul Geddes and, and Andrew Young, have done a great job. And I'm happy, you know, we can do no more and on Saturday night that will be left up to Gary. And I, I, I honestly believe that Gary Cornish will leave here on Saturday night as the new Commonwealth champion and create a bit of history.